Hi guys, Miss Taya here. I wanted to read you guys another story today, so that's what we're gonna do. But first, I wanted to say Happy Mother's Day to all of our little lambs moms. Thank you guys for loving us and entrusting us with your sweet little child. We know that they are the adventurous, wonderful, courteous, kind, and God-loving children that they are today because of your love and support. Thank you for allowing us to have a role in their lives and thank you for allowing us to love them. I'm so excited to be here reading this story to you, little lambs. We're gonna read a story today called, Mommy, Do You Love Me? Do you guys have a mommy that loves you? I do, I have a mommy that loves me, and I'm a mom with four kids of my own, and I love each and every one of them. I know you guys have mommies that love you too, so let's read this story, Mommy, Do You Love Me? It's by Jean Willis, Illustrated by Jan Fernley. Mommy, do you love me? Let's see, these pages do not always want to turn the right way. It's a story about a mommy hen and a little chick. Mommy, do you love me? Mommy, do you love me? asked little chick. Oh, I love you more than words can ever say, said his mommy. And she gave him a peck, a little kiss on the cheek. But will you always love me? Even if I look like this, he cheeped. And he made a funny face. Can you see that funny face he's making? Do you think his mom loves him even with a funny face? Let's see. Yes, of course. She said, you'll always be beautiful to me. But just to make sure, Little Chick found the muddiest puddle on the farm and he jumped in it. <gasps> What's gonna happen? Is he gonna be muddy? Oh, when he came back, he was covered from head to tail in mud. He did get muddy. Mommy, he said, do you still love me even when I'm muddy? <gasps> Of course, yes, she said, you're still my sweet little chick underneath. And she made them all clean and fluffy again. Just then, little chick's friends came over. They had a race. Hmm, but little chick didn't win. We can't always be the winner, can we? Mommy, he said, he was kind of sad. Do you love me even though I came in last place? Yes, she said. You always come in first place with me. And she gave him a red rose. Oh, a beautiful red rose. Little Chick ran to show his friends. Your mommy must really love you, they said. His friends are excited that his mommy loves him. But on the way home, he dropped the rose and all the petals fell off. Mommy, he cheeped, do you still love me even though I ruined my rose? Yes, she said. Roses don't last long, but my love for you will last forever. And she put her wing around him. Oh, like a little hug, how sweet. Mommy hugs can be the best. Little Chick was so happy to be loved that he cheeped and he chirped and he crowed very, very loudly. Please be quiet, said his mommy, but little chick wouldn't. He shrieked and he screeched and he squawked even louder. Oh, his mommy tried again. Please be quiet, little chick. But little chick wouldn't listen. He just kept shouting louder and louder. Oh no, he's not listening to mom. So his mommy shouted back, please be quiet, little chick. <gasps> little chick couldn't believe his ears. His mommy had shouted at him. Didn't she love him anymore? He was so upset that he ran away and he hid his head under his wings. This page has a lot of words on it. His mommy came looking for him. What's wrong, little chick, she said. Mommy, he cried, do you still love me even when I'm naughty? Little chick, she said, sometimes you make me mad and sometimes you make me sad. But no matter what you say or do, I will 
always love you. Why? asked Little Chick. Because I'm your mommy, she said. Oh, look at that. She's giving him a big hug now. Oh, he got sad. Mommy is comforting him. Oh, I love you too, he said. Ah, oh, said his mommy, but will you always love me? Even if I look like this. And she made a funny face. He's got a silly mommy. Little Chick laughed and laughed. Mommy, he said, sometimes you make me mad and sometimes you make me sad, but no matter what you do or say, Mommy, I will always love you. Why? asked his mommy. Because I'm your little chick, he said. Look at that mommy, that mommy hen and that little chick. They are happy and they love each other. And then off they went. The end. Happy Mother's Day again to all of our little lambs moms. And I hope that you guys are celebrated today and loved today. But I want to take just a minute to pray for all of you guys while we're all here. So let's bow our heads and close our eyes. Dear gracious and heavenly Father, we come to you now to just say thank you. Thank you for the moms that you gave us in our lives, Lord. And as mothers, Lord, thank you for the children that you entrusted to us. Lord, we pray that you help us all to have a special day and all to just enjoy the love from our family and to just enjoy the time that we have together in our homes, Lord. I pray that you help us to feel loved and to feel encouraged through these times, Lord. And I pray that you just continue to be here with us through it all. Thank you for all that you do. Thank you for keeping us safe. Thank you for keeping us loved, Lord, and for protecting us. Help us to make good choices, Lord. Help my little lambs, my little friends, Lord, to, um, to try their best to do the right thing, Lord, and help us as moms to have the patience and the love and the um, grace that you show us on a daily basis, Lord. I pray that you be with us all and that you just help us to have a wonderful day. In your name I pray, amen. Thank you guys for joining us today, and I hope you enjoy this story time, but most importantly, I hope that you enjoy your special day with your mom. I love you all. I'm continuing to pray for you all, as is Miss Connie and Miss Ozella, and we miss you. We miss you deeply. We love you all. Have a good day, you guys.